My brother and I are gonna build a coal frame in under an hour. It's gonna be a real simple design, no PVC, and anyone can build this to extend their growing season. All my materials are gonna be in the description. First step, measure your raised bed, build a box to those dimensions. Everything's cut, I'm gonna get it assembled. This is a little longer bed, so I'm putting one in the middle. All right, I got the frame done, now we're gonna bend the poles. We have a jig with a 90 degree angle and a 45 degree angle. The conduit's 60 inches, we found the center, and we're gonna bend that to 90 degrees in the middle. After you bend it to a 90, you want to line that up in the center of your box. And then on the ends, you want to make a mark, and those are going to be your 45 degree angles. So four, two 45s and a 90 will bring us home. Once you have them marked, you bend those two at 45 degrees. and we're gonna do this process two more times. Once you have those, you get a three quarter inch paddle bit and make holes where you want the arches. You don't wanna go all the way through with the bit. Once you have the holes drilled and the poles bent, you secure them with a three quarter inch self-tapping screw. Any metal screw should work. I just have these laying around. I'm gonna run a furring strip across to give it a little stability. We're using furring strips to secure the plastic. I'm gonna be cutting this board into two foot sections. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right, we're ready for plastic. We got the plastic on. There's eight minutes uh, to get this hardware on to beat our self-imposed deadline. All right, all done. Two minutes to spare. All right, there it is. A simple cold frame built in under an hour. Uh, we self-imposed the hour deadline to make it fun and to show you that it's pretty simple and you can do it.
We really like using the three quarter inch metal conduit. It's really easy to bend with homemade jigs and it's very cheap and it's pretty sturdy. We're actually getting more of this and we're gonna be building a chicken tractor for our little chicks before we get our coop finished. The plan is to keep building these cold frames on hot days, ironically, and have a few of them ready to go for when it starts cooling off towards the end of our growing season. If you're new here, I live in northern Wisconsin on some family land. We have a very short growing season and we're always trying to come up with creative ways to extend that season. And these cold frames are a huge part of it. And we have some greenhouses and we're gonna be building another greenhouse later this year. I'm building a garden from scratch this year. I have an orchard, I have a blueberry patch that I planted this year. And there's deer that I hunt for all of our family's meat. And I just got some chickens for eggs and compost. So if any of that interests you, Please subscribe, follow along, and I'll be putting out videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday.